Welcome back to Blar. We have the Macaulay Kids Camera. Um, there's the box here. So it's got a little cutesy box with this cow holding the camera. Single shot 2.4 inch screen. Time selfies, extended support, time lapse shooting. So let's open it up here, see what we get. Uh, it's, it's a pretty nice box. Camera looks okay back here. Uh, it was $29 on sale on Amazon. So, was it worth it? I'm already going to tell you no. I don't think it's worth getting. So, even focused on a younger audience, uh, you'll see. It comes with good stuff, though. And it seems fairly durable, the casing that comes in. We've got the red. I don't know why it has these, like, antlers on it. Well, it looks like you can take it off pretty easily, but it's rubber, so maybe it's protective. So, we'll leave them on. Um, pretty nice box. Under here you have a lanyard, you have your tripod, which is pretty nice actually, a USB charger, and a micro SD card. So, wasn't happy to see the micro SD card, but what I was happy to see, they put a USB adapter so you can stick it in to retrieve your photos and videos easily. That was a great, a great um, inclusion. Including that is really, I think, ideal. Instruction booklet here comes in a couple different languages. It's very basic, not much to it, um, but you do need it to figure out what these small buttons are on the back. Uh, it took me a second. You can just press them, I guess, eventually find out what's what. So like I said, the different languages here. And I think it's regular price is 30. Uh, so it's on sale for 28.79. It's usually 35.99. And I guess for a digital camera, back in the day, that'd been a good price, but I don't know. It's more, definitely more of like a toy, and I think 30 bucks for this kind of toy is too much because you just get a better camera, I think, for a little more money, or maybe less. So I haven't looked into too many of these. Uh, this one got really good reviews, so I grabbed it. So I thought maybe uh, the family gets some use out of it, and maybe we can. But then again, I don't know. No real point in taking bad videos, right? Unless you want that VHS look, which it kind of has, and I'll show that later. But everything works, pro like, physical-wise. Like, SD card fits fine, no problem. There's your screw for the tripod. Uh, it feels pretty good in hand, actually, because I think this thing is just protective. You flip that up to take selfies. That, that's a pretty neat idea. So having two cams, you just flip that cam up. You can take your your selfies or your self video. There's a small screen, it's big enough though. Pop it on. You have your camera, your video, your scenes. Um, I'm not sure what the other one is. Uh, games I didn't try out and music. I guess you could put on here as well through the SD card. So I mainly got it for camera use to see how that work. Kind of hard to see. We'll pause it here and try to get the lights down. Which made it worse. There's the screens, the buttons, the menus. Uh, it does have a nice direction pad. I like that for navigation. That's nice. So we'll test out the camera here. See how it looks. Grab a Hot Wheels. I got a handy. So it's going to be hard to see camera to camera. And then when it looks in the SD card, I didn't see the photo I took. Oh, because, you know, I deleted it. <laughs> the photo was okay. Not great. Not a, not a great photo. That's for sure. So it took me a little bit, bit of navigation. Not the worst, not the best. And zooms out to where it saves it. So not not too bad. A little little grainy. And you can delete it pretty easily, which is nice. I think, I'm not sure how big that SD card is. A couple gigs, probably. I'm going to try and do some video here. Maybe. So the video's kind of choppy. And then me trying to do both with something. 
so it's blurry there then can like get the blur out just move the camera itself there's no like focus that I can know of or that I saw so once you get the navigation down it's pretty easy I was just kind of hitting buttons because to know what was what but it's not too much uh, of a learning curve the video again and then I'll show the videos uh, at the end but as it is actually I'll stop it right here I'll show the videos now so here's the video that it took so I've left the sound out because a lot was going on so it's not as choppy as I thought not the greatest quality it works So actually, it's, it's better than I thought it was going to be. Uh, this is me being shaky with the camera with one hand. Um, yeah, so not not as bad as I thought it, it looked when I was looking through the uh, the preview. Not great, but is what it is. So that's the the video of like me taking a video of something. And then we'll check the selfie, which is the same camera because it just flips up. So this is the selfie video. It's got a mic sound pretty close pretty zoomed in yeah we're pretty far back check out what it came with that tripod so one of the better things I think it came with so this tripod's pretty handy with I think it would be it's not super tall but it's sturdy the way it folds out so it screws in really easily so your standard attachment I guess pop the legs out uh, camera I don't know out of 10 for being a camera itself, video picture wise, it's probably like a six or five or six. So I don't know if I'd recommend this. I think you just get a better camera. Now it might be the durability. I don't know. The casing is pretty nice. It has like a almost like a rubbery feel to it, plastic feel. Like if you dropped it, I don't think it would break, but on the lens, of course, it probably would. You know, any kind of drop. Thanks for watching, Blar. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.